this week I'm continuing to work on the kitchen and fix the pine boards to the walls. It seems to be a never-ending task to cut the boards to size, sand them and put them up. I am really looking forward to starting the kitchen counter but this really needs to be done first. really didn't want to sand the ceiling yeah that wall <laughs> it's never ending some gaps around the window and I think this is foam. Okay, we're shaking. Oh, okay. Oh gosh, no. Oh gosh. No. Oh, okay. Yeah, no. I don't think so. This is a little nerve wracking. I need to take out this electricity. What? This socket. So, yeah, I need to go upstairs. Going into this attic is a bit. It scares me. <laughs> so, I'm gonna take you with. Ooh. Okay. There is the mess to get in. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's 
really hot up here. This feels terrifying. All right, it is. God, this is a mess. It's number three. should be good to go. I don't know why, but this makes me so nervous. Although, saying that, if you had to choose between becoming a plumber and becoming an electrician, I would choose an electrician. Turn your electricity back on. Light switch. Okay, it's back on. <laughs> so this is great. I've moved forward a little bit again.
cycled into town today to pick up a package. They don't really deliver to the house. But this package was absolutely ginormous. <laughs> and it was just such a joke to put it on my bike. I managed to take everything out of the package and put it in my bag so I could actually take it home because otherwise I wouldn't have been able to. So on the way back, I decided to take a different route. I always take just the shortest direct route, which is about 12 kilometers. And there's this one route which is two kilometers longer, but it just seems like you're doing this giant detour. It was like the moment I turned into this new road, I loved it. It was such a revelation. I feel as though my world has become smaller because of this familiar road. Taking this new route has like opened up my world again. So I decided to go away for a few days and I am so excited to be gone. <laughs> to see something new, to make my world bigger again. Yeah. Honestly, I am really ready for a change. I feel exhausted from this renovation and doing the same thing over and over again. My world has shrunk and I need to open it up again. For months I've been dreaming of going away, even just for a few days, so I decided it was time to do exactly that. I found a hike I can get to easily enough and I'm packing up to roam around for a short while. This is the gear I'm going to bring. My backpack is about 40 or 45 liters. It's ultra light and I made it myself. I'm bringing the removable hip belt, but I never actually ended up using it because the pack was so light. I have a tent and a quilt, both in Dyneema stuff sacks. My quilt only barely fits me because it's extra fluffy. I have a regular size inflatable sleeping pad and trekking poles which I need to set up my tent. Then my toiletries, I carry an ultralight towel, a tiny pair of scissors, a small amount of deodorant in a spray bottle, a full size toothbrush and small toothpaste, some tick tweezers and plasters, essential oil bottle, a small amount of body lotion, all in a stuff sack. I forgot my trowel and titanium spoon, which would otherwise be here as well. Oh, and let's not forget some toilet paper and baby wipes. I have a cap and a bum bag for my camera gear. I made this little bag myself before leaving for Sweden last year. I gave it some extra padding for protection. Another stuff sack for food and a small wallet. Both are made in Dyneema composite fabric as well. Electronics include my phone, cables, headlamp and the power bank that was much bigger than it needed to be. Some headphones I never used and all this fits in another Dyneema bag. Of course I also carry a small Sony camera and a tripod. I'm bringing a pair of running shorts in case it'll get warm. My sleep clothes include thin merino socks, basic leggings, a merino base layer and some underwear. All of this in a stuff sack again, and this is how I pack my bag. This bag is frameless, so I'm going to create a thicker back by putting my inflatable pad against it. I just fold it up, and so it sits against the back. So you want to put the lightest items at the bottom of your backpack and the heaviest at the top. Usually I would put my sleeping bag or my quilt at the bottom horizontally, but my tent and my <laughs> quilt are both oddly shaped, so I put them up vertically next to each other. And the weight wise that kind of works out, they're about the same weight. My tent. Now we have some space in between them to squeeze a couple of things. Clothes, electronics, so I will put my food on top here. My future food will go all up here. Now 
matter to the main compartment. I put my trekking poles on the side. I wouldn't usually put them in an extra stuff sack like this at all, but because I'm kind of going to be going through a city and I don't know, I just put it in here so it doesn't look too odd. Let's not forget my water and my water filter. This is a soya filter. Put that next to it. On the other side, I'll pick up another water bottle or a juice bottle that I'll put in here. The rest goes in the front bucket because those are things that I use throughout the day. Toilet paper and wipes, toiletries. Surprisingly enough, I actually access these during the day. My cap, and then I'll have these two pockets. One for my wallet and one for my phone. So I'll be wearing this. Small toe socks. I have some trousers, although usually I would not wear trousers because they're not a good layering system. I would wear shorts and leggings. I always have a little top and then I have a merino, oops, merino shirt. Usually I'll wear a long sleeve shirt. And I have some options when it comes to fitwear. I think I'm going for these. If the weather was worse, or I was going for a longer period of time, I would always bring a puffy. I would bring a waterproof shell, and I made one myself, which is very light, <laughs> and a little bit silly looking. But I'm only going for three days and the weather is going to be good so i'm leaving this behind instead i'm just going to wear a windbreaker this is for my camera and my tripod and my pack oh let's go go out for a hike all winter. It's just such a feeling of freedom. I have no idea where I'll be tonight. The trail is about something like 60 kilometers and I have my tent. <laughs> just gonna see however long it takes and yeah I don't I don't know where I'm gonna be tonight. I don't know where I'll set up my tent but just you know anywhere in the trees. 